CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is here with us. So what do you think of this uh, judge's decision? I think it is stunning. Um, I think that it's one thing to depart down from guidelines, the guidelines being 19 and a half to 24 years, but it's another thing to basically throw the guidelines out the window, which is what happened here. It was shorter than what even Manafort's attorneys had recommended. Absolutely yeah. correct. I, and I think so. They were pleasingly surprised. Uh, the prosecutors must have been close to devastated, having tried cases in my own life from both sides of this. You expect, unfortunately, in the system of justice in America, that white collar defendants do get less time than people of color, even right. for the yeah. same crime. So, how do you explain it, Ricky? Because it is so shocking. Well, it's shocking because I think that you have a judge who was um, against this trial from the very beginning. He had reprimanded prosecutors in front of the jury throughout this trial. He didn't like the idea of the special prosecutor. That was made clear. And he made a decision that, as he once said, uh, he is Caesar in his Rome, that he was going to do it his way. Um, but Manafort faces up to 10 years in another separate case that he'll be tried on in D.C. Well, that he has pleaded guilty to and he will be sentenced on the 13th of March, and you're dealing with a different judge, and by the way, very different charges. There, this is a fraud case. In D.C., you're dealing with conspiracy against the United States and conspiracy to obstruct justice. Five years each, a maximum of 10. The guidelines bring you to 10. Real question for a D.C. Judge Jackson is, does she give him the full 10 consecutive or concurrent? Mm -hmm. And this is a judge who's had a lot of experience with Paul Manafort in D.C. You're dealing with the fact that she vitiated his plea of guilty I, and dealing with a bail It question. was stunning to hear after all the damning evidence presented by the prosecution that this judge characterized him as living an otherwise blameless life. That was a rather remarkable comment, I think, to say yeah. the least. It's one thing to look at his age, his health, the fact that he did not have uh, any prior record. It is another thing to see someone engaged in a life of crime for at least 10 years to call it unblemished. And defrauding the American yeah. taxpayers. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you, Ricky.